what's up YouTube it is your boy JB and we are here today with the review for sisters on BT this is season 3 episode 3 the episode was titled the gift of goodbye now before we get into the review if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you're not already subscribed to the channel then why are we still going out on dates and you not pay for it hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell button and then also leave a hit the like button hit the thumbs up button now without further ado let's go ahead and get into this episode of sisters all right you guys <clears throat> so you guys remember in the last episode we left off with zach you guys remember zach was rolling that white lady through the airport and she left her bag on the um plane right you guys remember zach went back for that bag so he went back for the bag and he was you know had his hand out for a tip woman wasn't catching his hint that he wants a tip she's just looking at him i'm like lady hand out tip tip me tip me well and not so many i mean she gave zach a tip all right she told zach about a stock that he should <clears throat> he should place his um bet on and i was like oh wow martha stewart huh you finna do some insider trading. Not I said Satan. Not I said Satan. I was just like, Zach, do not fall for this white woman's shit. So Danny, Danny comes over to him. She asked him, what was that about? She gave you her phone number. Zach told her, mind your business. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. And that's what she does. She walks away. <coughs> so then Maurice over at the bank he goes to Sabrina's office to talk to Sabrina right about Calvin's account and she says she's busy or did she she said she was busy she said she was on break at one point so then Jacoby goes up to her door cuz um which is interesting Maurice was going to break but he went to Sabrina's door to talk to Sabrina about Calvin's account now when he she said she was busy he was like you know what if it going to break did he call her a hoe i think he called her a hoe <clears throat> so then jacoby goes up to the door once again sabrina says what she's busy but he opens the door and he goes inside so he apologizes to her by saying he was tipsy okay whatever but he does tell her that he would be professional with her so they're having a conversation, but in the long run, Jacoby actually did need some help. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I guess he messed something up, and she says, okay, Jacoby, I'll help you. Have a seat. He was going to sit on the side of her. She's like, nope, you can sit right there. Yeah, Sabrina writes my nerves. Mm. Okay, let's move on. All right, guys, so Fatima, we see Fatima. She's at work, and Gary calls. And she was like, you know, I can go get Andy for you. He was like, oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. She was like, okay, what do you want, Gary? So he's telling Fatima about this photo shoot. I'm like, oh, God. Here we go with Gary with the photo shoot. I'm like, it's something up with this photo shoot. I'm like, I can't put my finger on it, but it's something up with the photo shoot. So he asked her, will she go with Andy if she asked? At first, she said no. But then, you know, she says, okay, Gary, if she asks me, I will go. But I'm glad Fatima has her what the f is up with Gary hat on. I'm like, at least somebody has their hat on. It ain't Andy, but at least somebody does. Well, even Karen, you know, Sab Karen, Sabrina, and um, Danny have that hat on. But Andy is the only one who does not have the what is wrong with Gary hat on. So Fatima goes to Andy's office to check on her. Excuse me, I didn't mean to rub me on face. So when she went to her office, Andy handed her this this card for a policeman. She told her to, that she needs to file a police report. She's like, is everything okay? I don't know how Andy is trying to play off this, that the situation with Jasmine was basically nothing. She held you at gunpoint, but okay, whatever. So then, you know, um, she's like, so should I set it up for later this afternoon? She's like, oh, no, I have a photo shoot that, you know, Gary set up for me. 
you know, his friend, his model canceled on him last minute. So now I'm going to model for him. And once again, Fatima has that, what is up with Gary hat on. So um, Fatima, you know, says, well, hey, how about I come with you? You know, I've done, I've done some styling before. And it was like, okay, well, you can come along. Um, but once again, like I said, Fatima has that she just does not trust Gary had on like, thank God somebody like Andy to have a degree. I mean, she's so oblivious. She's so oblivious. She's so obtuse. She's just a lot of things like common sense doesn't resonate in her brain. Like girl, did he not, did he, or did he not? take you away from your friends where you were I mean you know you had to catch a ride back home with a cop did you just forget about that because that just happened not too long ago where he took you to places unknown but now you're doing a photo shoot with a friend of his who you don't know hmm, okay Andy go off sis go off Oh God, even says it right here in my notes. Oh God, Calvin. So Calvin goes down to the bank, you guys, right? He's at the bank and he's going off about his account with Maurice. He was like, Maurice, I went to my, you know, I went to the ATM to look at my account and it's overdrawn. Maurice is like, no shit, sure. Like I told you that over the phone. Well, I thought you were just play. Okay, okay. So. He says, can I go somewhere else other than here? And Maurice was like, in order to get it done now, you're gonna wanna speak to Karen because she is gonna be the easiest person that can get it done. So then Calvin notices that the blinds in her office is closed. He was like, she's, she's in there with him, isn't she? Well, I don't think she's having sex with him in her, well, she could be, but I don't think so. So then, you know, he says, if he's in there with her, I'm going to kick your ass. Calvin, I don't think you're kicking anybody's ass ever. So then Sabrina comes out of her office and Jacoby is with her. So now Calvin is big and bucking his chest at this point. So Sabrina tells him that, hey, in order for me to do that, I would need a police report. And... Calvin is, like I said, once again in his films, he's like, if it was him asking you to do it, you do it for him. Okay. And I did see this on Twitter where people were like, why didn't Sabrina just do it and, 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 and move on? I got where Sabrina was coming from, and you guys have to think about it. Sabrina just got in trouble because of Andy and Gary with that money situation. So Sabrina has to tread lightly. That's what it is with Sabrina. Sabrina has to tread lightly. So I got that part and I wasn't really upset with her about that. So Sabrina tells him that he needs to leave. After he, I mean, why did you have to say that, you know, Jacoby was inside of her? Okay. So then Calvin and Jacoby got into it. And as soon as they got into it, they, they pushed for a little bit. Then it was just a one hit, boom, and Calvin, ooh, and passes out. I was like, are you serious? That's all it took? That wasn't even a big punch, but okay. He fell out like a little girl. So Sabrina suspended Jacoby. Now, mind you, I do get Jacoby should not have put his hands on, um, on Calvin, but Calvin started the whole tussle. So what's, what, what, do you, what do you expect your employee to do when someone charges at them? Just take it? Whatever. So let's talk about Fatima. Once, um, let's move over to Fatima. So Fatima went, in, went into Andy's office, you guys, to let her know that one of their clients is there. So Fatima doesn't see it for this client because I'm assuming that this client is going through a divorce and the wife is rich and he's not. He was someone who picked up balls on a tennis court. 
So Fatima feels like he's trying to get a come up to pay for his bills. I mean, shit, if they would have, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, divorces are most times not pretty. So let's move back over to Calvin on the flow, right? So Maurice gets Calvin up off the floor. He jumps up, you know, he jumps up talking about, you know, he'll F, he'll, he said he will fuck him up. Saying that, you know, um, Jacoby sucker punched him. I'm like, oh, is that what we're going with? Okay, Calvin. So then Sabrina finally reversed the charges. And I'm like, wait a minute. But you said you needed a police report. You know what? Whatever. Whatever, Sabrina. Whatever, Sabrina. Whatever, Sabrina. Now, she feels like Maurice may have set that up. I'm like, nah, baby. Nah. I really want Sabrina to get her, her ish together. Let's move on. All right, you guys, so Andy. So Andy went to meet up with her client, right? So she tells him, hey, because he's worried about his bills. You know, he's facing eviction. She tells him, hey, what I need you to, for you to do, trust me, let me do my job. You, don't come down here, don't call here, don't do anything, we're gonna take care of it. So I guess he's in, so he's in Atlanta, and I guess his ex soon to be ex-wife is in the UK. But like I said, Andy told him she got everything taken care of. Now while they're while they're talking to him, Zach shows up to the office. So Zach wants to talk to Fatima. Fatima wasn't really feeling it at first, but they eventually go to like um I was about to say a conference room, but there wasn't a conference room that looked like the break room. So they go in there and Zach is just trying to make up with Fatima. He wants to come by her, you know, she's like you came to my job, Zach, like, this is not a good time to talk. So he's like, how can I come up to your face later? He asked her just more than once, and I'm just like, Zach, stop begging. But she says, you know what, I'll think about it, Zach. But she was pissed off that he showed up at her job, which I'm going to give her that one. That was like, don't show up at my job. So then when she goes back to Andy's office, Andy asks her, what was that? And Fatima says it's that same old bullshit. And Andy was like, you know, I actually do like Zach, but I don't like Zach for Karen because I think she can do better. But I'm just going to leave it at this. I do like Zach. Um, next, let's move over to Maurice and Calvin, right? So Maurice and Calvin, they're back at their apartment. Maurice is asking Calvin, is he okay? And Calvin is saying he's, he's over Sabrina. Calvin... I'm over you, I'm over Sabrina, and I'm over Jacoby. I'm over all three of y'all. We can we can put y'all in a car together, take y'all to a cliff, and push that cl that car right off the cliff, and all three of y'all are out of, out of the picture for good. That's what we can do. So then he's talking about he can't believe the fact that Jacoby hit him. What did you expect the man to do? So then Maurice tells um, Calvin that he needs to let, it's time for him to let Sabrina go. I'm like, amen, hallelujah. Let her go. Calvin says he is, but I don't believe it to save my life. But let's move on and wrap the episode up. So, <clears throat> this photo shoot that Andy was doing, she's in a damn wedding dress. I was just like, Andy, oh my God. The writings are on the wall. Shout out, I mean, like Destiny's Child. The writings are on the wall. Thou shalt see crazy. Like, thou shall see crazy. <laughs> so she tells, who did she tell? I think she told, she told one of the girls, oh, she told Fatima. She was telling Fatima, she was like, you know, I want to tell the photographer that I want this dress for my actual wedding. I'm like, girl, this is your actual wedding. Like, I don't know how you can catch the warning signs. A photographer that knows Gary. A photographer that knows Gary, you're in a wedding dress. Did they tell you what the campaign is? Did they tell you what the campaign is? Did they tell you who the designer of the dress is? Did they give you any of that information? If they didn't, girl, this is a setup. I'm, Andy's elevator, does it it, 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 it feel like it's just stuck at ground level. It just feels like it's set up at ground level. So then the other girls show up, and when the other girl showed up, the photographer comes back, because he got a phone call, so he stepped away. So when he comes back, he was like, oh, 
coincidentally, there are other dresses, bridesmaids dresses, you know, bridesmaids dresses that are on the rack. Try them on. He said that, you know, they're getting $500 a piece for it. I'm like, that's a lie. And $500 for to the, the, the do a photo shoot? Is, is that, I, I, I don't know. Don't care. But I'm like, y'all don't see through this. And then the fact that there are, mind you, there are four dresses. Well, there are four sets, you know, there are, um, there are multiple dresses, right? But in each, each one of them, it just coincidentally has, it, there's coincidentally four, four. Y'all ain't catching on to the numbers. Four. Four. <clears throat> I'm going to say that one more time. Four. But okay, nobody caught on to it. Now, here's my thing. Karen, why do you have such an attitude with Fatima? She did not know about you and Zach. Like, what you had an attitude with her for? So, Zach, Zach, he went over to that strange white lady's room. So, he told her on the way over to her room. He looked up the company, and it looked legit. So, she asked him, does he know this senator? He says, no. And she says, well, we're getting a divorce, and her husband has been doing basically insider trading for years. <clears throat> and she was surprised that Zach knew what it was. I'm like, oh, is it because he's black? Because, I mean, I know what insider, tra insider trading is, but that's because I went to business school, so... We definitely learned about that. <clears throat> so she's telling Zach to put his money in the stock. He's like, well, I don't have $1,000 in savings. She's like, well, how about if I give you 50000 to do that? I was like, oh, hell no, Zach. Give her that glass back and walk your ass back out. And that's exactly what he did because I'm like, this feels like a bit of a setup. So back over to the photo shoot. I was correct. This is not an actual photo shoot. This is Andy and Zach's, I mean, Andy and Gary's wedding day. Girl, like I said, the writings were on the wall. <clears throat> Andy needs to run away from Gary like yesterday, controlling as hell. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. But that's the episode, guys. Like the video, leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. Subscribe to the channel, subscribe, share, like, comment. And um, I think I said that. I don't know if I said that. I talk so fast sometimes. <clears throat> but yeah, do all that stuff that I just said. Um, and until the next one, guys, be safe. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear your mask or not. Be safe. Be blessed. And social distance. And I'll catch you guys for the encore. Actually, get it correct because Carlos will check you. BT presents the encore.